seeing a lot more startups coming out. We're seeing the environment and the culture changing. So uh, we know that we're going to see more and more startups coming up. What I would like to see as changes is give more opportunities for people in startups to succeed and to get more opportunities to show their projects. Basically, more opportunities for startups means more opportunities for them to scale up and come from the region. I want to see more money come into the ecosystem. That's something which I talk to people all the time and I hear this, that there's very little money at the bottom of the ecosystem. Though this region is uh, known as the region which actually supplies a lot of cash to global VC companies and global investment companies, uh, I see very little of it actually trickling down to the bottom of the pyramid, the first check kind of scenario. So people have to work far harder to get the first amount of money or the risk capital that they require to build a product or reach a point where the larger VCs or formal money will start looking at them. So I would love to see more money there. At this point of time, we do see a lot of initiatives, but most of the support is in kind, you know, a license or a place to work and things like that. We do need that, no question about that, but what we also need is cash support so that they can hire the right kind of team, they can build the right kind of MVP and a product, and they can also look at, for example, from a point of view of uh, being able to build a company for the future. I think one of the big trends that uh, we're focusing on at Astro Labs actually is uh, the capability development and uh, really working with uh, everybody from founders to folks who are in uh, jobs currently to expose them to a wide variety of uh, lessons and, uh, uh, and, and, and courses that can help up their game uh, to be able to uh, scale up a company, to be more effective within their corporate environment, to learn the skills, the digital skills that are so important these days to be, to be, uh, to be effective. So let's, let's focus on the UAE, I guess. Um, there could be a lot of, uh, there's already a lot of support from, from government. Um, in the sense of uh, a lot of free zones and a lot of uh, ways to uh, make it easy to start up a business from a process perspective. But I think it's still quite expensive and costly to start up a business in the UAE. Um, and uh, a lot of the costs associated with starting a business are hidden costs. Uh, I think uh, some modifications to regulation can really have a huge impact on that front. And I'll give you a very simple example, uh, visa costs. And it's not just the initial, you know, it's not just the cost of a single visa. It's the fact that startups in general should be able to easily hire and fire people. Uh, although it sounds controversial, but yes, people, startups need to be able to hire and fire people very easily and very cost effectively. And today that's not the case. You have a lot of startups hiring people only to find out they're not necessarily the right people for the startup and the right fit for the culture, and then it's too expensive to actually replace them. Uh, so I think those are, those are you know, uh, there could be a lot more um, uh, impactful change on the regulatory side. I think one of the things um, uh, is, is, uh, is to be able to uh, really speak to entrepreneurs and see, you know, what are the challenges that are not only that are for now, but the challenges of the future. And I think to create these ecosystems that are that that will cater to future needs, um, thinking about uh, whether the government is is uh, 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 doing something new, like legislations that are digital, for instance. How could that affect entrepreneurs and the way that they set set up their businesses? Um, but I think that that's what's needed now is to really think about moving or creating these ecosystems that are going to facilitate entrepreneurs of the future to make better things. I think we're at a very interesting time where there's a lot of progress that's been made, but something I always say is that to see a flourishing ecosystem, it needs to be cost effective for startups to be able to incorporate, cost effective to fail, and then still be incentivized to start again. And what I mean by that is that it's still at times expensive to set up, you have to pay to wind down, and if you want to start up all over again, you still have the scars from the first venture. So being able to create that environment where it is cost effective is extremely beneficial. And I would love to see more clustering. It's not like there isn't enough incubators, accelerators, VCs, legal firms. It's just that they're all spread out. 
intellectual capital transfer amongst individuals, being able to grab a coffee with you without me having to spend 20 minutes by cab to come and meet you, will create a lot of benefits for founders, investors, entrepreneurs, service providers, and it would be great to see more of a clustering effect take place, not only in the UAE, but across different geographies that help startups identify places to scale to as headquarters when they look to go to new geographies.